Okay, YouTube, so a couple of weeks ago, I picked up four Xbox One controllers from a yard sale for $5 each, two of which worked great. There was nothing wrong with them, no broken buttons. Uh, they synced up just fine. And um, so I went ahead and traded those in towards GameStop or to GameStop uh, towards some credit to get a new game. I can't remember the name of the game off the top of my head, but I had these two right here that had broken LBRB buttons, which you see here. And these uh, replacements that I just got in today came from China. They came uh, packaged in a nice little plastic carrying case here um, with a plastic uh, spooge or you know, a little plastic prying tool. And they came also with a Torque 6mm and a Torque 8mm uh, screwdriver. I'm not sure why they sent the 6mm. You're not going to need it. I didn't need it, but I have already replaced the buttons on this controller. And now they are working just fine. The only difference is, is that in the OEM uh, buttons in the corner here it'll say LB and RB engraved and these uh, replacement buttons do not have that but that's okay we are just looking for functionality so that we can get these sold so I still have to replace the uh, the buttons on this one and so that's what we're gonna do Let's set this one aside all right so what you're gonna need to do is of course take off your battery cover inside the battery is a, uh, a circular indent right here there's a screw underneath this sticker that you're gonna have to get to so let's go ahead and poke this tool in there and this will be the T8 and we're just going to start unscrewing this one There's that screw. Then the other four screws are underneath these panels. To get these panels off, you're gonna need this tool, this prying tool, and you're just gonna to want to get on the seam and with some pressure, get these popped off. Trust me, you're not gonna break them. And look how dirty that was, oh God. There's all kind of filth in there. Ugh. Jeez, let me get this wiped off. Okay, so we got this one off and man, that was all kinds of nasty grime and dirt built up in here. I'll get these edges cleaned up before I uh, list these and get these sold. We'll just set that aside. And the same with this one. And I'm sure this one's gonna be just as dirty. Yep, so we'll get that piece set aside. That dirt, that's nasty. All right, anyway, there's going to be four screws. Like I said, you're gonna have one in each corner up here and then one on the bottom down here. The, these are also the T8 screwdrivers, uh, screwdriver bits. We'll get these removed. All right, so now we got all four screws out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these handles down because they're just nasty. And once I get it put back together, I don't wanna have to fool with it again. Okay, so Got these uh, handles wiped down and the face plate. Got some of that nasty grime off the controller. That, that, that was really nasty. All right, so the next, uh, next step is we're gonna need to take this middle piece off to get to this button. Uh, this one on this side has already broken off, as you can see. And so we need to get this off to get the rest of it off. 
So, easy peasy. We're just going to use this pry piece again, get up underneath. And with a little bit of wiggling, it should come right off. Just like that. All right. And now we need to remove this piece. There's the broken piece. And now we're going to replace it with this one. Let me figure out this orientation here. Okay, it goes like this. Now when when you get this and and you go to, to snap it back in, there are two two little prongs right here. There's one right there. I'm not sure if you can see these. And there's one right here. Those fit in these little two holes right here that are on the replacement buttons. Now, it looks like it, it might not fit in right away, but trust me, it does. It does. So let's get the orientation correct, and that would be this way right here. And then now we're going to get them snapped in there, just like that. And there it is. So now all we have to do is put it back on and uh, the sync button right here came off. So we need to get that put back on. So that sync button can pop right out. There's nothing really holding, on, holding it on. It literally just pops out like that. A little tab on the end slides right in that little groove next to the X button. And that's all that's holding it in there. Just like that. All right. So now all we have to do is get this snapped back on. And you're going to want to be careful with that sync button. Now there are some hooks on each side of the LB and RB button. Those little hooks snap in and lock into this slot right here and this slot right here. Okay, so after about three or four minutes of tinkering with this and getting it all lined up, I got it snapped back in. And now the buttons are working correctly. There are two little flaps on this uh, LBRB uh, button that slide underneath here. And sometimes they can get overlapped. There's like a little slot underneath each side. And those flaps have to go on the underside of it. And they were getting caught on the, on the, uh, the overside of it and weren't functioning correctly. So took me about two or three minutes to figure that out, but we got it uh, in working condition now. And so now all we have to do is put it back together. And that is the easy part. So we'll just put the, the face plate on and go ahead and lock that on with the screw. like that and now we just put the other four screws in put the uh, the handle plates back on and we're good to go this kit cost about I want to say four dollars and like a dollar ninety nine to ship and you get the torque six and the torque eight millimeter screwdrivers in this nice little uh, plastic carrying case and you get the LBRB button so it's not a bad little investment I mean you're not spending a whole lot on this repair and I should be able to sell each of these controllers for about 30 bucks each if not more one of them has the box that it came in so I might be able to get a little bit more for this for that one however they are identical 
It's just I've got the uh, the box for one of them. So get that final screw in and get these plates snapped back on. Oh, wrong side. Just like that. Just like that. And get the battery covered on and there we go. We have got a repaired Xbox One controller. Folks, it was that easy. That easy. So, there you have it. Same controller. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon when you do. That way you get notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm Ted a Collector, and have a good one.